with Kathleen Kabiru's advocacy in Matari community. Kathleen Kabiru stands at the forefront of a movement within a community, representing a girls' youth group known as the Young Resilience Advocacy Network. In her region, the relentless march of climate change has become a grim reality, disproportionately affecting women, children, and youth. Recently, catastrophic floods swept through the area, leaving a trail of devastation. The impact was particularly harsh on young mothers, who not only lost their homes, but also their access to vital health services, plunging them into a struggle for survival. In the aftermath, survivors sought refuge in makeshift safe spaces. Schools and churches turned into shelters, where despair mingled with a flicker of hope. Generous donations of food, bedding, and clothing provided some immediate relief, yet the scars ran deep. While many have returned to their homes, they face an uphill battle, grappling with the psychological trauma and financial instability wrought by the floods. Their livelihood once steady now hang by a thread, leaving them in the state of uncertainty. Katrin Kabiru, filled by stories of her community, feels an urgent call to action. She recognizes that the very fabric of their lives is at risk, and education is the key to resilience. She personally urges governments, organizations, and stakeholders to focus on empowering young women in her area. With knowledge about climate change and its far-reaching consequences, many residents lived too close to the river, 
their homes built in ignorance of the luring danger for generations. They had weathered storms, never anticipating the severity of floods they are now face. Determined to effect change, Catherine invites her neighborhood to participate in a training session focused on climate awareness and climate preparedness. She reaches out to government officials and community leaders, imploring them to lend their voice and resource to this critical cause. Through Catherine's relentless advocacy, a sense of hope begins to blossom amidst the devastation. She believes that by honing the effort, they can forge a path towards a more sustainable future. Her story is not just one of struggle. It is a powerful testament to the resilience of a human spirit and the transformative power of community action. In the face of climate change, Catherine stands as a beacon of hope, inspiring others to rise and reclaim their narrative, ensuring that no one is left behind. She calls on everyone, individuals, organizations, and leaders to join her in this critical fight. Together, we can create awareness, build resilience, and ensure that no community is left behind. Let us stand together to address climate change and safeguard our future.